and I'm delighted to welcome you to our gallery. Developed in cooperation with Universal Museum Joanneum and Neue Galerie Graz Museum, our current exhibition's title, Freedom Will Have Been an Episode, does not intend to proclaim the end of freedom, but rather contemplates a creeping social upheaval that has taken place in recent years. Following the footsteps of pioneering Austrian painter, performance artist, experimental filmmaker, and writer Günter Bruce, four emerging artists and collectives from Austria have developed new, site-specific works that engage with what freedom means in art and society today. In the 1960s, when Günter Bruce co-founded the seminal avant-garde art movement Viennese Actionism, and challenged Austrian society with his taboo-breaking performances, freedom was considered a precious commodity that had to be defended against any form of restrictions. In the last decades, these hard-won freedoms have been increasingly undermined by the economy of hedonism and the efficiency of neoliberalism. People are no longer disciplined by force and violence, but are galvanized into self-optimization. The exhibition starts with one of Günter Bruse's best-known actions and also his first public performance, Vienna Walk. This performance consisted of Bruse walking through Vienna city center as a living painting, having painted himself entirely white with a long black line separating his body into two halves. Bruse was arrested almost immediately by the police for being potentially disturbing to the public. The photographs and videos filmed by his friends and collaborators have to this day created strong myths about what really happened on that day and have become artworks in their own right. By performing for an unsuspecting audience of ordinary members of the Austrian public instead of the usual gallery audience, Bruce paved the way for future performance artists to do the same. Since 2013, Marlene Leitner and Michael Schittnick of Studio Asynchrom have been constantly engaging with the individual in an era of social upheaval. In their drawings, they observe and reflect on the present socio-political situation based on the algorithms of manipulation. They visualize complex statistics and theories in such a way that viewers suddenly find themselves part of the system. The wall drawing that stretches over two levels was partially inspired by the fictitious prison drawings by famous Italian artist Giovanni Battista Piranesi and takes them to a dystopian future. The borderless communication and freedom promised to us by our globalized world, such as the internet, are actually highly efficient means of surveillance and control. Without being aware of it, we have drifted into a system of unfreedom that we cannot escape from as we cannot see the invisible digital nets that draw ever tighter around us. At the bottom of the drawing, we see the less fortunate and unprivileged, building the foundation of this digital world. Josef Wurm intertwines the anatomy of the human body with the topography of maps. His paintings are social critiques that penetrate into the very innermost, into the entrails of human coexistence, the anatomy of social orders, reaching the rudimentary elements that constitute the body and writing, and thereby codify reality. Wurm breaks open the construct of reality, dismantles its structure, dissects the state of society, and lays it out like a body that has been slid open. Since the 1960s, Günter Bruse's drawings have primarily focused on the human body. 
His figures are marked not only by pencil on paper, but also by the constraints of society and the mercilessness of time, which leaves its traces and scars on the bodies. Throughout 1966, Proust created a small number of remarkable drawings that show his body mutilated and slashed in empty rooms and glass display cases. There is no protection or retreat anymore. Everything is laid open and exhibited. Everything is recorded and transmitted using microphones. The body itself is wired up and attached to an ominous network of tubes that penetrate him yet seem to sustain him at the same time. The individual is subject to absolute surveillance and control. These drawings are paradigmatic representations of a transparent society and the ultimate consequences that follow. Eva Maria Schale literally deploys her own body where it is neither expected nor wanted and thus represents an affront to the system of order and control. Over centuries, our bodies have been subject to systematic pathologization of what is considered a correct body and what is a false one. Besides classic cultural body standards, new technologies make way for different kinds of bodies which adhere to the cult of youth and self-optimization for neurotoxins and plastic surgery. Shala's latest work engages with genetics, digital data processing, and biotechnologies to question the physical limits of freedom. For years and in the most varied ways, Eva and Gerhard Pichler, the artist duo known as Zweintopf, have been examining the subtle normalization of everyday life in their art. In their site-specific installation, they thematize methods of controlling and influencing others. This installation by Zweintopf titled Fencing Six combines so-called cattle trainers, electrified metal bars meant to prompt animals to excrete their manure at specific places, to construct a large installation that fills the exhibition space like a minimalist grid. The construction forces viewers to follow a certain pattern of movement and punishes them with a light electric shock if they deviate. Society and art have changed considerably in the decades since Poole started his actions. But the question of freedom is ever-present. As curator Roman Grabner pointed out, if the media are corrupted by the economy, if critical thought is equated with corrosive conduct, and if political engagement no longer takes place because it is incompatible with social media, then we are heading towards a brave new world, and freedom will indeed have been an episode. If you would like to see this exhibition in person, follow the instructions below.